And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some barkeep timelines. This one's going to be a lot of fun. Could have maybe been on a meme tier day, but you know what? We're going to be playing it in ranked. It should be a lot of fun. So basically what we have here is a concurrent timelines deck. So this is going to be like our important card that we need to have um, as early as we can. So hopefully this is the card that we see in our opener. And for the rest of the game, the first time that you play a follower each round, you get to pick one of three followers with the same cost to transform it into. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing a bunch of followers that have either play effects or summon effects, and then we play them, and then we get some kind of bonus. But then we get to turn that um, you know probably smaller follower into something else. We get to pick a few different ones to turn it into. We got Inspiring Mentor, which is you know, going to be able to play grant an ally in hand plus one plus zero. That buff that's going to be for the ally in hand, even though we play that ally and it transforms into something else, that buff will stay on. So, you know, so we get that that plus one plus zero buff and it can turn into a different one drop. We got urchin that's going to be a very important one that can discard extra cards we don't need, draw a card. We got clump of lumps will just create mushroom clouds, which are perfect for the zonite urchin to be able to discard. Um, at three mana, we're going to have Greenglade Elder, so we get to grant all the allies in our hand plus one, plus one. But again, then the Greenglade Elder will turn into a different body, but then we'll have some buffed up allies in our hand. That buff will stay on them. We're going to be playing Shadow Assassin. <clears throat> I don't remember the last time we played Shadow Assassin. It's been a while. <laughs> this used to be the best card in Legends of Runeterra. It was for a while. Crazy, right? Like how, how good the, the cards have gotten nowadays since Targon's come in. But yeah, this used to be the very best card whenever it was a 2-2. Two, two. Um, but now it's a 1-2, doesn't really see play anymore. Um, but we're going to go ahead and try it here because it says when I'm summoned, draw a card. So we're going to be able, like if we concurrent timelines, now we get like a regular like three drop, but we'll just find like some kind of good three drop, but we also already drew a card. So that's going to be really nice. Um, our champions are going to be Zed and Vi. We're going to be playing Back Alley Barkeep. That's going to be our Barkeep part. Again, summon, create one card, but if we play a second Barkeep, create two cards. And so on and so, so then these this would be you know usually a three two for four mana you're like i don't really want like a three two for four mana well now we're not going to have a three two we're going to be able to get some other good four drop instead of back alley barkeep same with subpersible it's going to be just like shadow assassins it's going to be able to draw a card as soon as we play it and then turn into a really cool five drop so those should all work really well then we got one mina swift foot at the top end slow down our opponent and maybe turn into a cool nine drop so this would be just a, a really fun deck to play um, we'll just kind of see what happens. We're going to get a bunch of random stuff. Hopefully we get this concurrent timelines. We have some good removal with Mystic Shock, Get Excited, Aftershock, and then some protection with Spirit's Refuge and Deny. All right, let's get to it. We'll see how we do. We're going to go take it on over to Ranked. Okay, Garen Rennington. I haven't seen Garen in a while. So they're going big. Big 4-drop, big 5-drop. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep this hand. I know there's no concurrent timelines, but this hand's actually pretty good. We have the attack token. We get to play Inspiring Mentor on turn one. Love it. Inspiring Mentor the Zed. Because then we have the Clump of Wumps on two, and then I have the Urchin to discard the Mushroom Cloud. Ah, they did behold it. All right, so they behold an Elite. All right, well, we definitely want to get this in play and not not have our Zed be vulnerable. Without a sound. No. Wow. All right, yeah, good Cataclysm. I mean, it's just like having single combat. That's too bad. Especially how I have, like, Mystic Shot that can stop it and deny but, I mean, I, I don't think you're not supposed to just slam Zed, but... Good card. That's a really big problem. I could Mystic Shot my own 2-2 to keep it from turning into a 5-5, but... That doesn't sound like a great option. Really want to find concurrent timelines. Okay. 
That'll let this Shadow Assassin turn into something better. The young prince will be found. I don't know if they'll have another Cataclysm. Could have grant, granted that Challenger. So I can attack with the Zed. They block with the Vanguard Calvary, and I go Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot, and kill it. Obviously, if they have any kind of spell, that doesn't really work. I'm going to just pass the turn. Okay. I was a little worried about, like, a Cataclysm. I guess Scar thing seven. My life See, look at that. Three mana Scar. Scar thing seven plus draw card. They will sing up if you've hurt him. I've learned a trick or two. I didn't do nothing. You won't leave a spot. I'm sorry, Zed. I do not want to play... The timelines is only once a turn. So I do not want to play another... Uh, like another Shadow Assassin. Alright, so we trade Mystic Shot for Sharp Sight. And I'm I'm holding up Deny, because I, I do not want them casting a Rally effect. Kill these things. I ran as fast as I could. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to get to that subpersonal. Maybe I will. I guess like Reckless Trifarian's kinda of big. If I'm just like attacking with it. Mentor the Stones turns this thing into a 4-6. Which is also kinda of big. So look, Mentor the Stones plus Draw Card. We're playing Concurrent Timelines the Fairway. No, like, Ledros killing. Celestial power. I don't know, I could also see just passing here with their pass they're passing back to me with all this mana wasted, but they only have the two cards in hand. But, like, if they have, like, Sharp Sight... Okay, cool. No Sharp Sight. I was worried about, you know, sharp side on the 5-3 block. Um. Get me a sweet bug. Heightens the senses. Break their spirits and their swords. Slot 7. That's 8. Very patient. Green Glade Elder 9. Just more Scarthane Steffens? I guess Powder Keg. What would you wish to oh, I don't get the Powder Keg. Right, right, because that's a summon. Oh, no, I should take the, the Scarthane Steffen. Look at this place. Right. I was going to have like the Powder Keg be it. Let me kill this Vanguard Foundry. But... The Vanguard Cavalry. Whoops. Yeah, I should have taken the, the square thing, Stefan. Bring him okay, so now I'm waiting because I don't want this subpersable uh, to get the vulnerable. Cool. Rewarded for waiting. To play this, it's a 4 2. Oh, that's, again, a summon. Wait, so this is going to be... Okay, so it's going to have plus one, plus one, no matter which one we choose. So this will be a 2-3. So basically, do I want a 4-4 four, four or a 2-3 lifesteal? I guess a 4-4. Four, four. Because I'm going to keep... I'm just going to keep this card the same, because it's elusive. So we'll play this now. Or do I still wait? Do I still play this other Green Glade Elder first? Sure, go ahead, do that. 
I'm gonna do it. Again, we don't get any of these abilities. Let's take the Mentor of the Stones. Alright, 9 8 elusive. I was very patient, let all three Green Glade Elders buff this thing up. Okay, how do we want to attack? With everything is the correct answer, but. Alright. Y'all are attacking, you're attacking, but what are you supporting? Like, that's the thing, is. I don't think you support this. Do I support. I guess we'll just support you. I could see supporting, like, the Scar thing, Stefan. But I guess they are at 14, and this is 11, and get excited can be lethal if they don't have sharp sight to block. This was pretty cool, though. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get gems from this Mentor of the Stones dying, and so we'll be able to discard the gems to get, to get excited. I can also pass and make sure. Yeah, you know, I can also just keep the deny available just in case. Pass priority, maybe maybe do that next turn. I'm not planning on playing this two drop. If if they did have judgment, we'd have deny. So judgment, I would don't have to worry about that card. So I'm just gonna wait to get excited them next turn with the deny backup. If it's made of sand, I can write it. Hmm. Curse keeper. All right, there we go. And we get like the cool Rennington level up animation. My opponent gets more points for champion mastery because they got to level up their champion, so that was good too. So it all worked out. All in Fiora. I don't have lots of interaction for Fiora. I have some, but not lots. Mulligan, Mulligan. I don't know. Like maybe we can be like kind of aggressive. Maybe maybe we can be kind of kind of aggressive. I guess like this clump of wumps I could have mulliganed. Yeah, I, I should have mulliganed this clump of wombs because I wasn't planning. My, my turn one, turn two was going to be the three one mana cards, and so I, I didn't need this card. I should have mulliganed this. So it doesn't matter. So we're just going to take generic two one. It doesn't really matter which one of these two we take. I don't want the Getty or Ling. That would be two power. Because they're you know, we don't get the summon abilities with the new things that they transform into. No Fiora, no Fiora, pass, 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 pass. No Fiora, no Fiora, pass, 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 pass. Without a sound. So they definitely play Fiora and definitely kill my 2 1. I, I wish I would have mulliganed that clump of lumps. I want the, the thing that's three power. Show you how it's done. 
All right, well, we're getting aggro. Is this supposed to be a challenge? Put them down to three. I'm going to give them the Mushroom Clouds to really hope they draw a Puff Cap. Alright, come on, draw a Puff Cap. Puff Cap, Puff Cap. I don't have a... I don't have my Teemo. Ugh, I need the Teemo. Oh, and then we got the most useless card. Yeah, so we can Mystic Shot our own unit. I, I'm trying to hold on, hold off on that since they are at three. Puff Cap, no, come on. So I'm trying to hold off on that, but yeah, that's that's my last case scenario is Mystic Shot my own unit. Okay, they're at two. So basically, they if they have two fight spells, I lose. If they have one fight spell, we win, right? Because we can, we can attack, force them to do something, and then Mystic Shot. Guess we just attack here. Uh, that would've been the reason to attack with both, but I guess, like at this, if, if I attack with the both either way, like, like the Fiora does kill it first, so. Yeah, all right, well. Here we go. No! This will be quick. That's too bad. All right, that's too bad. Everything I've worked for. They had the removal spell. Another person playing Zed. I'm playing some Ionia. No, I'll get rid of Deny. <laughs> no, Antec, you can go ahead and play it. it. Says, I do want to play that Dirty Fiora deck, but I'm scared of what people will think. <laughs> Don't worry about it. People... People won't know. Go ahead. Alright, so I could have played the Urchin right there, but I I just kept it because we have all these units in hand, so I'm going to play this Green Glade Elder. Uh, I'd give them all plus one, plus one, and then ne next turn we can have, like, Urchin and Zed. Looking into the future, I see purple. So, ooh. Senna seems pretty sweet. We'll take a Senna. Senna seems pretty cool. I don't really have, like, my stuff to discard right now. Like, if I go Barkeep, then we can, like, discard the random card. So I don't know about this Urchin. It's like, would I want to discard a Barkeep? That doesn't sound like a great thing to do. So we'll see if they're cheating or not. If they play Hush, they're cheating. If they don't play Hush, they're not cheating. That's how it goes. Okay, Kordak. So yeah, so you're saying that I should have played Vi and then challenged and had the Fiora second with the challenge so that then they'd have to use two removal spells. The reason why I played... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. The reason why I played the 1-5 is to draw a card that I wanted to see if we could draw another Mystic Shot. Um, You know, that's because we had like the four mana and if we get like a second Mystic Shot, it's it's like basically over like it's 
it's going to be really tough for them to win. So that's why I went for the 1-5, is to see if we could draw another removal spell. The, even drawing a Get Excited, I just wouldn't attack, and I would just pass the turn. Alright, so opponent's a cheater. Playing Hush. Cheater. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see what we create. Um, I'll just take a 6-6. Six, six. AKA 7-7, seven, because seven, he gets plus one, plus one. That's cool. That's cool. I am the blade in the darkness. The darkness. I don't know if I want Veteran Investigator or not. No. You can go. Man, we have great options here between Barkeep, Subpersibal, and Vi. I'm gonna go by. Wow, I conceded! Concurrent timelines, getting a Senna and Hunting Fleet. And that's a knockout. That was pretty awesome. That was a good game right there. Ooh. Team Oez. We want some mist good mystic shot to take down Timo. Okay. That's five drops. Another day in the field. Armed and ready. That's got a sting. I was gonna say, like, they are playing Freljord that has, like, all the protection spells and everything, and so the Mystic Shot isn't reliable. We, drew, we do draw a ton of cards. That could be bad. As far as Puff Caps are concerned. Yeah, that could be bad. Why not discard the subpersible there? Because I I do really value the elusive. Oh man. I knew I should have just played the Shadow Assassin. I should have just played the Shadow Assassin. Because the the elusives are definitely good here with Teemo and Ezreal. I should have played Shadow Assassin. That was too cute going for the timelines right there. All right, well, this is this is a display of what can possibly go wrong. It will go wrong. That is what this is. Join me if you want to live. And ready. At least they didn't just play Puff Cat Peddler or Ezreal right there. The concurrent timelines was just a complete trap. I, I needed, I needed just like just to play Shadow Assassin. I would have had a good blocker. I need like the Subpersible just to be normal later. That just ended up being just a complete trap.
I got smitten by that trap of the concurrent timelines, and it's going to cost me this game. Because who knows how different this game is if I just play Shadow Assassin on three. They don't get to attack me with the Teemo. Yep, I got I got too distracted by just the shiny new toy with the concurrent timelines. Go for that. All right, this is going to be a difficult deck to stop. Cuz they're going to like you know, if they if they have Riven and they get to do their thing, this is going to be a difficult deck to stop. Gotta be somewhat of a scary attack. I oh, guess not. Swole Squirrel. Don't want them to be able to have quick attack on this wool squirrel, I don't think. Now we're cooking. Raven down. And there we go. Huh. So yeah, they they thought that the survival skills would hit the Draven, but the Swole Squirrel was bigger at the time. So the survival skills, so basically the lesson there is um, survival skills does not take into effect the um, the spinning axe, and so uh, it looks at just you know before that, and so before that spinning axe because it it happens first. Um, you know the draven was not the largest thing. Yeah, so spinning axe says discard then increase. So uh, kind of you know that's kind of a feels bad for the opponent. I kind of feel feel bad for them for that, but um, still for us. That's going to be a 3 and 2 in ranked. That's right. 3 and 2 in ranked with Ionia concurrent timelines. Um, this was really cool. We got to do some really cool stuff. I, you know, misplayed pretty bad on the game 4 instead of playing my Shadow Assassin. Uh, but still, we got to show, like, uh, turning, you know, we got to turn, like, Green Glade Elders and Shadow Assassins into much cooler things, like... Um, like Senna, and, and there was a bunch of other good three drops we got to turn those into. Back alley barkeep, we got the 7 7 hunting fleet. That was pretty awesome. Um, we even had an 11 power sub Percival after a bunch of Green Glade Elders and everything. So this was just, this was a fun deck to play. And y'all know that I'm always looking for different decks and fun ones to play. And this one felt like, it felt pretty good. Like, I don't think this is going to be one that's going to, you know, dominate or anything. But I feel, I feel pretty decent about getting a, a pretty good record with this kind of deck. Because you do have removal with your Mystic Shock, Get Excited, Aftershock. Um, and I could see playing more Get Excited if you want instead of Aftershock. I want to be able to kill the Veiled Temple with all of the Aphelios decks around these days. Um, but you got decent card draw, right? Like, so Percival's drawing cards, Shadow Assassin's drawing cards. You get some uh, card selection with your Zonite Urchin being able to rummage away through some cards. And then you can also create a bunch of cards. And the thing about Back Alley Barkeep is usually, you know, like you create a random card or maybe two random cards. 
but they're not usually like that good of cards. However, with this, if it's just like a random follower that you're like, I don't really want this follower, you still you have the concurrent timelines. You can turn it into something better. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. It's either going to be like a spell that you get to use that could be decent, or it's going to be a follower you can just turn into something better. Um, but yeah, that's so that's our deck. All right, so there's Barkeep Timelines. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.